When Jeff Patton of Crystal River spoke online to Elena Skrinchenko in Kiev, Ukraine, love came quickly. This kind of just kept blossoming uh, into the thought of uh, meeting. February 9th, he flew to Kiev. He proposed me. I said yes. The 17th, they were married. One week later, Russia invaded Ukraine. We woke up with uh, bombing and shelling. Uh, going on. We could hear it in the distance. The newlyweds and her 27 year old son with severe muscular dystrophy grabbed documents and medication and went searching for safety. When we got into the gas station, uh, literally as we pulled up to the pump, they started screaming run and uh, we could hear the mortar fire coming in. It was very close. They also witnessed efforts to bring young men back to fight the war after the order was given. The mother was wailing and pleading and begging. Uh, it was extremely difficult to watch. After almost 500 miles, they made it safely to Warsaw, Poland. A, a great relief. I, I thought about kissing the ground. <laughs> but they face yet another battle, getting home. The original plan was for Jeff to fly back to Florida, handling immigration paperwork for Elena and her son. Now they're scrambling for documents, weeding through red tape at the U.S. Embassy in hopes of getting them refugee status. We've been pleading for help for the last two or three days. Uh, because of her son's medical condition. I'm staring at a giant and I don't know how to move past him. Through the toughest moments, Jeff and Elena say they've never felt fear. The two ordained ministers are relying on faith to get through. I believe unequivocally there's no way we would be here even giving an interview had the Lord not gone before us. Yes. We're going to make plans, but we want you to guide every step. Jeff has been in contact with Senator Marco Rubio and Congressman Daniel Webster's offices in hopes of speeding up the process. Once they all get to Florida, they hope to travel back to Ukraine to do ministerial work. That was their original plan before the war began. In Tampa, Haley Hines, Fox 13 News.